with a cut and stuff, the shades and the golden hair. Super Saiyan, he ain't playing when they hit the air. He bow high here we go second podcast of the day second podcast of the day february 8th we have a huge podcast today again guys back and forth back and forth i just left to go take a quick break when i'm rot one a quick walk around the block got some fresh air yeah it was nice it's a little cold over here in denver what's what state what state are you in I'm in California. Cool. <laughs> yeah. that's awesome. That's what I'm talking about. My last guest was in Florida. So we went all the way from Florida to California. Now we're in Denver. Here we go. <laughs> Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Tell your friends and family this is a huge episode right now, guys. So call all your friends and family. Make sure you text them the links right now. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast live. Woo! Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. I'm bringing all the excitement. Yes, I am. Rico Suave, Latino Heat, the most electrifying podcaster in the world. Check in the building. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another podcast. February 8th, it's 7 o'clock, which means we have an amazing guest all the way from California. Okay. She is. An entrepreneur, she is a pediatrician. Mm-hmm. She is the one, an incredible Dr. Kimberly. Hi. Woo! Hey. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> oh man, we we're so we're so delighted to have you on the show. How's California? California is great. Uh, we've been getting a lot of rain, but you know it was sunny all week, so that's a good sign. And we 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 need the rain anyway, so it's good. Great to hear. Great yeah. to hear. You got the rain. You got the sun. And I was just there in August, so I had a great time in the ocean. That's for sure. Nice. It yeah, was. I'm in the, I'm in the center of the state, so I got a hours, but still. You know, two hours, nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, that yeah, that's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> oh man. Um. So when I was uh that when I was out there, I had a great time, and I saw a bit sightseeing. I went out to Universal Studios again, saw some mm-hmm. family, so it was cool. I met some people. I met on Clubhouse out there. Oh, nice. Very. Where, that's cool. It was yeah. really cool. And so we will get into all that in just a second and what you do. I'm so excited you're on the show. My Thank goodness. You. So that we planned this out like a month ago. So that, that came by so fast. It really did. This The year is already flying by. Oh, my gosh. It's February, which is a short month. I know. I'm already scheduling for mid-March, and I'm telling people, yeah, it's it gets mm-hmm. blocked. It's crazy. And it's and, mm-hmm. and it's sooner than it, it gets here sooner than when you think. So right. I'm so excited to have you, like I said. But before we get into all that, I got to do a quick shout out. My producer is trying to remind me to re, uh, do the quick shout out to the website, arielent.com, because that's the best way to support the podcast, arielent.com. There you can book me for my music, my shop, my merchandise, photography, my podcast, and now our new adventure, my salsa. People have been buying it for the Super Bowl game. I sold three today. People love the salsa for the Super Bowl. It's our new adventure, arielent.com. Thank you guys for all your support. Five-star reviews Apple on, on Apple and Spotify. Five-star review on Apple and Spotify. And donation links are down below, guys. So thank you so much. Another great way to support the podcast is going to my YouTube channel. Search Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Boom. Thank you guys for all your support. Means a lot. Means a lot. I think that is it for all the announcements. Uh, got some shows coming up here soon. I'll be posting those here soon. I'll be uh, advertising those here soon. Watch out. That's all I got to say. Watch out. Here's the prayer of the day. It goes like this. Thank you, Jesus God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here. Ever this day and night. Be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Thank you, God, 
for having Kimberly on the show. Thank mm-hmm. you, God, for all the millions and millions of listeners tuning in right now. And thank you, God, for our food, for shelter, for our family, for, for perfect health, and for safe travels. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. That's all I got, man. That takes a lot out of me. Thank you so much for being on the show. Everybody, let's give a round of applause again to Kimberly. Kimberly, tell us where we can support you and what you do. Okay. Well, like you mentioned, my name is Kimberly. I am Dr. Kimberly. I'm a pediatrician. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Dr. Kimberly. I also just launched a dress, uh, uh, an online boutique, should I say. So my link is there in the bio, Fashions by K. Everybody go over there today and buy at least one dress. Valentine's <laughs> is coming up. Fabulous merchandise. Nice. So yeah, I'm a serial entrepreneur um, and um, I'm just here to inspire and motivate and share my journey. So yeah, that's that's a little bit about me. Practicing for 12 years and I practice in an underserved community here in Central California. I love it. I love my patients. I treat them like family. I treat them like they deserve to be treated. So that's what I'm all about um, in terms of what I do. That's great to hear. You treat your patients like patients. You're all about the community and you're about inspiring and motivating. And that's why I brought you on the show. And I got everybody here pulling out their Androids and iPhones right now. And they're gonna blow you up right now on the Instagram. (laughs) I am Dr. Kimberly. I am Dr. Kimberly, the Instagram handle I A M D R K I M B E R L Y. Can't miss it, guys. She has amazing content. Thank you so much. Just telling, just like helping with helping and just helping people with situations of what, you know, there we go, guys. Boom. Tell me. Yes. Oh, there we go. Instagram, that's Instagram does that. It's okay. Instagram, it's all right. It's all right, Instagram. There we go. And I clicked on the link. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, say, follow. Like, comment, share, say, follow. Check out the Instagram. And if you have any questions, DM her. She has her um, boutique link in the uh, profile. Fashions by K.com. I hit the link. I did. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> no doubt. That's fashions by k.com that's fashions by k.com you know easter's coming up the holidays are coming up uh fourth of july is coming up summer's coming up springtime all the you guys check it out summer and we're, out. we're we're overhauling the the website so don't mind the, the construction that you might see there but we're getting ready to really like vamp it up so this is just another passion of mine and you know last year i was just all about exploring all of my passions, just going for it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes what you want is on the other side of fear. So if you're feeling fearful about something, just do it. You know, it may not work, but that's, I'm just here to motivate and inspire. I was scared, but do it, but don't not do it. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound right, but do it. you must do it. Even no, that makes total sense. It makes total sense. You got to do it. And like you said, once you get past that fear and once you do it, you're gonna be like, whoa, there's yeah. there's so many, there could be opportunities past that fear. There can be, um, you know, confidence after you pass that, pass that fear, a new adventure you never knew, n- new networking you never knew. It could go on and on about that fear. You never knew. Right, you never know. Oh yeah. my goodness. Man, we can go on and on. I love the website fashions by k.com and you said like you said last year you just invested all in your purpose all in your passions and here we are yes tell us about clubhouse how's that been treating you you know what i need to be more active on clubhouse i found out well number one i'm an android user when you know was really at its height um my friend told me get on clubhouse get on clubhouse and i'm like i have an android phone. okay so it was Android users, and once they expanded, um, you know the uh, the users that you could, you could have either have an Android or iPhone. I got on there, and I've just been venturing into a lot of the rooms, just listening to the content. I haven't been that active, but I need to just speak more because I feel like I have a lot to say. You know, 
but there's some really strong personalities on there. And I'm like, do I really want to argue with these people or could I be doing something else with my time? So that's kind of, <laughs> kind of where I'm at with Clubhouse. But, you know, Clubhouse is great for opportunity, you know, for partnerships. I found um, a lady that help, is helping yep. me with my social media on yep. there. I mean, if you want to connect with some like amazing people, amazing talent, then Clubhouse is where it's at for sure. Wow. Absolutely. That's where I met you. And you know what? That's where I met a lot of people with, with my podcast. People just reach out to me. And then when I reach out, and it's just, it's it's amazing. I've been meeting a lot of people on Clubhouse. Great opportunities. Right. Wow. Yeah. She's Louise. Yeah, I, I heard about Club. My anniversary was two days ago for two years. I've been on it for two years. Okay, good. Yeah. Is this how you started with your podcast? Was it? Yeah, nobody wanted to be on my podcast. And then I went on Clubhouse and then people around the world want to be on my podcast. Nice. Good for you. See, you just never know. You yeah. know, with the advent of social media, I mean, you just make connections all around the world. Yeah, I know didn't have the opportunity to do you know before this so hats off to you that's great that's no you. doubt you just got to believe in yourself and keep going like you said and just keep inspiring yourself and others and just believe in yourself and then i kept asking people to be on the podcast on on clubhouse and people were like yeah i'd love to be on your show i was like cool yeah. and it went from a, i remember it went from a thousand to and it just went from there amazing that's an yeah. amazing yeah great. yeah shout out Good. to clubhouse yep yeah. Well, because of you, I'm going to start talking in the rooms more. Yeah, no doubt. So, yeah. Yeah, I go I in. I'm not a shy person at all because I have to talk to patients every day. But for some reason in those rooms, you know, just you, there, there's people are just so strongly opinionated. And it's hard to really have a conversation, which I enjoy much more like a, you know, I hear your opinion, you hear mine, and we might not agree. And that's fine. But respectfully, right? Some people can be disrespectful. On, I don't really like. But anyway. I'll, I'll find my way. <laughs> yeah, you'll find you'll find the rooms you like, and you know you'll find the rooms where you you don't have to do that. I right. for me for me I went I, I start in the morning with the gratitude room, and then from there I'll check out throughout the day if there's some like networking rooms or music rooms, and just go from mm -hmm. there. I That's what music. I do. Yeah. I just cool. stay I just stay cool. silent. I just stay silent, and then I go in people's uh, people and just start networking through the Instagram. Yes. That's that's great. Yeah, that's how you found me. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully the story can inspire someone and not a direct journey for me, but I'm here, you know. No. I'd love to mentor students. Oh, that's great. I'm writing that down. Mentor students. And before, <laughs> before we do that, have you been to Denver, Colorado? I have. Let me tell you, I had a medical conference in um Tell me the name of the mountains. Um, you're like, there's tons of mountains. But there was a there was a conference a couple of years, Copper Mountain. Yep. I went to Copper Mountain yeah. a couple of years ago and I loved it. And I'm always cold, right? But the cutest little cabin, uh, you know, the snow, it was just so peaceful and serene. I loved it. Yep. I went to Denver for that. Yeah. And then we drove to Copper Mountain. How was the drive up to Copper? It was great because I wasn't driving. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, that makes that makes a difference. Faster, okay, Californian in the snow. No, <laughs> I, actually, I actually went to Michigan, so I know all about snow. But you know, it's Michigan not as mountainous. You know, it's flat, so that was a whole different ball game, and I was not going to take the chance. But it was beautiful. I had an amazing time, and I will go back. Oh, cool, cool. When you come back, I got you some salsa. And then I got you some merchandise. Okay, cool. cool. Wherever you are, pull up. If you're in Copper Mountain, I'll pull up. Be like, hey, I know you're busy, but here's some merchandise for you. Have a good day. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Oh, man, that was good. I'll go with the first question here. I got a first question here. And okay. so I know you're, you know, you like, you know, pediatrician. And what is it that you like about being? A pediatrician. Let me tell you, I love my patients, especially the newborns and babies. Nice. It's it just brings me joy to um, you know, work with children. Actually, before I did this, I was a teacher. 
So I've always had this passion for working with kids. I, I was a teacher for one year, I taught third grade, and it is the population, you know, the, the kids, the age group. I love it. I love it every single day. I, I just, it's what I was meant to do, you know? So that's, that's one of the things. And then the relationships that I've been able to establish with the families, because I'm, like I said, I'm in central California. So it's a big, it's a big, small community, you know, people that word of mouth, everything just travels quickly here. And I've gotten to know a lot of my families. I've been at the same job residency for 12 years. So I mean, some of the, the patients, you know, that were older that have kids now, they're bringing their kids to me. I see families, cousins, aunts, I mean, everybody, they just, if they like you, they tell their friends and then their friends tell their friends. So it's, it's great. It's just great for the patients that I've seen for years. And I know them well, you know, those, they'll be like, Dr. Dixon, so-and-so's here. I'd be like, oh yeah, the mom, da, 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 da. I remember that, you know, I just, there's so many memories already. I love it. I love what I do. Yeah. You can tell by the way you're explaining yourself. And not only that, it sounds like the patients love you. Yes. The really, it's definitely a, a mutual, you know, uh, type of relationship where I listen to them and then they listen to me. It's not me just mandating that they do something, you know, and they like patients like when you listen to them, because a lot of I won't say a lot of doctors don't listen, but there's a large portion that are just like, OK, OK, whatever, you know, but I really take the time out to listen and address their concerns. You listen, know? Yeah, no, that makes a big deal. A lot of people mm -hmm. complain about that. Mm -hmm. yeah, like they but, say their doctors, their doctors don't listen to them. I know exactly. And that's what we get paid to do, you know, listen, you know, supposed to do. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, man. And when you were, did you knew you want to be in this field when you were a kid? No. I went from wanting to be, I wanted to be on television. I wanted to be a newscaster. Nice. <laughs> And uh, I was going to go to USC. I had it all planned. USC School of Journalism, become a newscaster. And I got into UCLA. So USC waitlisted me. I got into UCLA. I said, well, I guess I'm going to UCLA. I ended up at UCLA and I was going to become a lawyer. So I went from a newscaster to a lawyer. Yeah. Took a political science class, was bored to tears. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, I can't do this. This is boring. And so I became involved with like public health. Uh, projects around campus. One was called uh, Black Pre-Health, where we um, focused on hypertension in the African-American community. So I got involved with a lot of those health fairs and I loved it, you know. So from then, from there, I, I said, you know what, maybe public health is the career for me, you know. Mm. And so I got a master's in public health where I, I went to Philadelphia, first time leaving California, and I focused on community medicine. But I always did want to, you know, after that, I was like, you know what, I think I want to do medicine and bridge the two, public health and medicine, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm working in the community. You, yeah. I'm focused on prevention. That's my thing, too. I, I, I'm not one of those doctors that wants to just throw a pill at you. Let's talk about your lifestyle, you know, especially with the childhood obesity, which is. Let's talk about diet. Let's talk about culture. You know, all of that plays you on a medication which now for for 12 and up you know i want to talk about the things that we have in nature that will help treat your illness as well now sometimes you do need medication you know like for pneumonia i'm i'm grateful that we have antibiotics but for things like obesity you know exercise sunshine fruit water not this fast food that we're eating that i see our kids eating so yeah, that helps me. It's like the perfect marriage, public health and medicine, and I can do both and educate and treat, which is what I love. Nice. I got here, public health, medicine, treat, mm -hmm. and educate. Wow. And you went from, man. Okay, so get this. My girlfriend and I, we've been planning a trip to Philadelphia. So, but we haven't we haven't set the dates yet, but we've been looking at museums where we want to stay, all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 so we've been we've been wanting going we've been trying to we've been like going to Philly, but we've been, but there's been signs. I swear God's been dropping signs everywhere. Because I've been I interview people about that I'll just talk to people and 
Philly will just Philadelphia or Philly will just come out of their mouth and I'll be like, boom, sign. That's a sign. That's a sign. So, That's a sign. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. So, so you've been to so Philadelphia. I'm about to go out there soon. I'm so excited. What was your, your favorite? If I'm going out there for the first time, what do you recommend? You know what? Um, there's a lot of museums yep. out in Philadelphia. Um, it's just cute. You want to stay downtown. I think it was like Walnut Street. You know what? I have a call from the nursery. Is that going to be a problem? I'm on call tonight. No, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> One second. Yeah, yeah. Nice, guys. That's what it is. This is... This is... Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, we can do that, and then I'll I'll look at it in the morning. Yeah, which shoulder is it? It's the uh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then that baby um, also had a fever at birth. You want me to order the septic? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. Nice. Duty calls. All right. I'm done. <laughs> I, round, I round in the newborn nursery, so I'm seeing uh, babies, and so they call me with questions. No, that's the, you sounded very professional. Awesome job. Five stars. If anybody needs to take, you know, voice or watch people, that's perfect. And so, so you're talking about Philadelphia. So yeah, stay yeah. down. To eat. Uh, eat all the cheesesteaks. <sighs> what else did I like about Philly? Um, you know, you'll have the trolleys and things like that, but stay downtown. I think it was like Walnut Street down there. Okay. And, and, and check out all the museums. Okay. I put that down. Trolleys, Walnut Street. Museum. There's a lot of history there, too. If you like history, I love history. That's where we want to go. Oh, man. Oh, the Liberty Bell, you know, all yep, of that. That's exactly, yeah. Have you yeah. drove, did you ever drive up from Philly to Boston? I've been to Boston, but I didn't drive. But I, I did spend a summer in Boston. Did too. you did you fly or took the train? I flew into Boston. Yeah. Oh. But I would take the train to New York a lot when I was in Philly, either New York or DC. That's what I loved about living on the East Coast. I was there for two years. And so, um yeah, it, it's, everything is it's just in close proximity. You're gonna love it. So You're correct. Love it. Yeah, exactly. And I like that. So we're going to uh Philly, the DC train. Okay. But how is it going to New York on train? It was easy. I mean, it was, I think it was like two and a half hours, two and a half to three hours. So not bad. You don't have to go underground in New York? Well, you have to go underground. I think it was that, what's that tunnel called? Somebody will know the tunnel. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tunnel, and that'll, that'll lead you to the bus station. And um, and then, I forgot the name of the station, 34th wow. Street Station, maybe. Yeah. And then you'll take the subway wherever, you know, you're trying to go. Oh, it's amazing. Man. Oh, yeah. So you're saying from you're I'm going to be in concrete I'm going to be in concrete jungle when I get into from when I get off the train in New York. Well, you're going to take if you're taking the bus, it goes to I think it's 34th Street Station. Somebody's going to have to correct me on that. There's a bus station that takes to New York, and from there it connects you to all the subways. You can get the subway everywhere. Cool. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I go. Hey. Through. I'll be like, "Hey, just let you know I went to Philly. Let me. Oh, here's my how my trip went." <laughs> okay, good. Nice. I'll go with the next question here. Oh, okay. With everything that you do with your business and your pediatrician and your, you know, your boutique store, who's been your influences every time, every day when you wake up? Who's been your biggest influences? That's a good question. Um. You know who I really, I've always admired and you're going to talk about because it's so cliche. I love Oprah. Word. I love, Oprah. Mm -hmm. I love her. I love that she started from humble beginnings. I love her work ethic. Mm -hmm. You know, I like people with strong work, eth work ethics. You know, they, they're serious. They're business minded. They balanced. It looks like she has more balance now. You know, I'm, I'm all about work. Balance. Um, but I do work really hard. And I try to, you know, no one's perfect, but if I'm treating patients, I try to make sure that they're satisfied when they leave the office, you know, and we come up with the plan and that they have an understanding of what happened in, in the office. Now, is everybody 100% please? No, you can't please everyone. 
but I work hard um, in that regard. And, and that's what I love about Oprah. You know, she, she worked hard. She started from like the little radio station or news station and she built an empire. And so that's what I aspire to do. And I'm older already, but it's never too late. It's, it's never too late to dream. So that's my perspective. So I'm going to say Oprah. And of course, my parents, they started Humble Beginnings too. And, you know, they've done quite well in California. So I would say those three individuals. That's amazing. Your parents, Oprah, that's great. Man, shout out to our parents. Yes, absolutely. Today's my dad's birthday, by the way. Wow. He's 75. <laughs> wow. Shout out to your dad. Happy birthday, yeah. dad. Yeah. That's great. Birthday. Hope he has having an amazing day. Yeah. I'm going to treat him to a steak dinner on Saturday. But yeah. Are we talking about afternoon or evening? Probably in the evening because I have to work. Yeah. <laughs> on cool. Saturday. You can pick him up, open the door for him. Dad, it's your day. Let's go. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, man. That's great. Awesome. Awesome. Here we go. You know, with this, you know, with the pediatrician and the journey, and with mm -hmm. your fatigue and everything that you're doing right now, but especially with the pediatrician, you know, you, you, you did, you found out what you wanted to do this back when you were in college, when you wanted mm -hmm. to get into public health and medicine. Yes. Through this whole journey, mm -hmm. when you didn't know what you wanted to do, what would you, at that very moment, if you could tell yourself, what would you tell yourself at that moment, what you know now? You know what, what I would tell myself, like if I reflected back to yeah. when I was in my 20s, you don't have to have everything planned and mapped out. Sometimes things unfold. You know, you can have an idea, but it never goes as planned, never. And don't let that deter you. You know, for me, I was going to go graduate. Da, da, da. It doesn't go that way. And it's fine. You'll end up where you need to be. You will end up where you need to stay it might not go as plan. You might see people you buy. They're like, what am I doing with my life? I'm going to just go work at Walmart. Nothing wrong with working at Walmart if that's what you want to do, right? There were many times I wanted to give up because I'm like, okay, I know what my goal is, but I'm not seeing it quick enough. Is it going to happen? But I never let myself give up. Surround yourself with people that believe in your, in your dream too. Because you're going to have people saying, you know what, maybe give up. You've tried this a few times. It hasn't worked. If you still believe in your heart that you can do something, go for it and make sure you have a good support system. So that's what helped me. Like those people that were like, no, I don't think you, I don't think you can be a doctor. I don't think you have this. I don't have, think you have what it takes. Okay. Well, thank you. Next, you know, like Ariana next. Thank you. Next. Well, you don't want me to sing, but anyway, that's how I feel about life. I don't give up. I'm very stubborn when it comes to my goals. You're not going to tell me no. You might tell me no, but I'm not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> There's always another way around. Yes. When's your birthday? I am on the cusp of uh, Cancer and Leo, July 22nd. Word. That's what's up. I think our qualities are both. The stubbornness, the go the driven, the, the leader, that's the Leo. But then yeah. I'm often sensitive too. <laughs> that's the Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's what we tell every someone that is young and is like you you know the 20s they can go through like a little it's not midlife like the 40s but it's like a young life crisis like oh my gosh i'm 22 i'm so old please <sighs> you're not old you do not have to figure everything out right now mm -hmm. keep going just move forward that's what i'm going to tell them move forward don't stay stagnant don't be stagnant move forward but you don't you might not have it all planned out and that's fine. Wow. That's great. I like that because that's what you would tell your younger self. That is mm -hmm. awesome. That's great. Mm -hmm. We got seven more minutes and we got like three more questions. So okay. you're more than welcome to like answer them quick if you want okay. to. But okay. here we go. Yeah, this has been awesome. I can't believe this. Like the 30 minutes go by so fast. I can't mm -hmm. believe it. So here we go. Thank you so much. Oh, who are you going for? Uh, real quick, who are you going for the Super Bowl? Kansas City. Word. <laughs> Yep, Kansas City. Yeah, me too. I'm going oh, I would have been going for the 49ers, but you know, they're not in it. So. Hey. <laughs> they always get they always get so close. I know. Oh. Fumble, fumble. Anyway. I know. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, anyways. <laughs>
what okay so if i was coming out to northern california or central california what are your favorite kind of hobbies to do out there i shouldn't say that you didn't hear me say that no um there's not really much to do here to be honest. good and get a lot of work done i try travel I tell you if you came here i would take you probably to like napa valley which is about four hours north go three hours south to san diego oh nice there's a few things here to do but really i would probably do a little road trip oh there's a place i like called pismo beach that's two hours it's so cute and it's quaint and it's not crowded and it's just lovely it's a lovely time so that's probably some of the things i like road tripping i like trips in general but you know since you said coming here those are the things that i would do if you were coming to california that's sweet. I road tripped all the way from Denver. My girlfriend and I, we road tripped from Denver to oh. to Utah, to Nevada, L to Nevada, to Las Vegas, to LA, to Arizona, to Colorado. Wow. <laughs> That's a huge road trip. <laughs> yeah. We hit a we hit some uh, monsoon rain. Okay. Oh, I know about that. Cause I lived in Vegas. I did my residency in Vegas. So I am familiar with the monsoons. Yeah. We did. We didn't even know anything about that until we drove that we drove through them. Yeah. It was crazy. For <laughs> rain. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. But I remember that. Here's another question. Let's get it. Yeah. I'm learning so much from you. Here we go. Oh, what with everything that you've accomplished? You know, what is the coolest accomplishment you're proud of? What is the coolest accomplishment you're proud of? I think I'm I'm living it right now, practicing as a pediatrician. You know, I want to tell your your listeners what's written is real. For my personal statement for medical school, I said that I want to work with children in an underserved community. And that is exactly what I'm what you're doing yes using my public health degree you know to um help uh eliminate some of the things that you have to deal with like public health you know issues I'm doing exactly that it's scary there's stuff that I'm doing too that I wrote um in that statement how many years ago I'm gonna age myself back in I, I started medical school in 2002 and something I launched something a couple of years ago and I'm like oh my gosh remember you wrote that in your personal statement and the opportunity came to me I wasn't really looking for this specific thing but what's written is real wow. so if you if you if you you better be careful if you want it it can it can transpire so anyway um yeah I'm living what I dreamt years ago now. Yeah, that's amazing. Not only did you dream, but you writ it down. Guys, <laughs> what, is what is written is real. Write yes. down your goals, write down what you want, break it down. It is true. I've done it. It's amazing. Oh man, we can go on and on for that. You can get a dream board, you can get a wishing board, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I learned also another trick. If you get you have a list of things you want to do, say you gotta let's say I got a vacuum, I gotta go to the grocery store, I gotta go to get gasoline for my car, I got all these lists. Don't write down one, two, three, four. Write down every single thing. One, 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 one. Yeah. yeah. I heard that. That's I heard awesome. that. Yep. That's what I heard. So let's go. Let's let's keep it going here. We've got two more questions. And I wanna say thank you so much. Dr. Kimberly for coming on the show. This has been amazing. Uh, I'm about to show everybody where they can follow you one more time here. Here we go. Guys, pull out your Androids and your iPhones and your iPads. That's I am Dr. Kimberly. I am Dr. Kimberly. I am Dr. Kimberly on the Instagram. Hit up her links. Oh, I'll be doing, real quick. Tell us about your content on Instagram. It's awesome. Oh Thank you. You know what? I um. And you'll see a transition on my as far as my content, but I started out with inspirational messages, and now I'm doing more um, like health promotion um, messages. I wanted to combine the two, so you'll see everything. You'll see my travel, 
You'll see me speaking about topics as it relates to children's health. You'll see me inspiring you to achieve your dreams despite what everybody else says. You'll see a lot of different content there. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. That's better the better way I can explain it. And then as well, fashionbyk.com, fashionsbyk.com. Check it out right now, fashionsbyk.com. Mini dresses, meaty dresses, maxi dresses. You got a clearance, you dress, guys. Just yeah, check it out. Thank you so much. No doubt. That's fashionsbyk.com. Yes. yes. All right. We got one minute left here. How do you want the world to perceive you, Dr. Kimberly? You know what? I want the world to perceive me as that person, that woman that went for it. Despite what everyone says, she went for it. She felt the fear and she did it anyway. That's what I want to be remembered for. Wow. She went for it, That which means you better go for it, which means I got to go for it. Thank you so much, Dr. Kimberly. We've got one more question here. And if you hear background music, don't worry. That's just the outro music. The DJ just okay. plays out. But here we go. Thank you okay. so much for being on the show. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Donation links are down below, guys. Love yourself. Love the animals. We got Dr. Kimberly in the building, guys. So one more question here. It goes like this. You know, you're always helping each other out, helping the community out and you, you're following your goals, you read, read it down and it came true. For people like that, that, we, that hasn't happened yet, or people that are going through a tough time right now, what are some lighting, like upliftment words you could give us? I would want to tell them that there's hope, you know, on the other side of, of the despair. I would tell them to start. They may not feel like it. You won't always feel like it, but you gotta start. You gotta start to see the end. So even when you're not feeling like it, take one step. You know, you don't have to climb the whole staircase. One step at a time. That's what I would tell them. Oh, my goodness. You got to start one step at a time. One step at a time. Baby steps. One percent is better than no percent. Yes. That's what I was told. Shout out to my boy. Gosh, shout out to my boy, Nick Locero, that told me that he said one percent. That's all that matters. Just try to do your best every day. Dr. Right. Dr. Kimberly, thank you so much for being on the show. I will send you the links when it comes out. Okay. And it should be less than two weeks, but yeah, we'll, we'll stay connected. Good.